Hello! Welcome to our very first game of Blood from a Stone here on the Long Lost Lore Twitch channel. Uh, my name is Philip. I am the Dreadmaster, because this is a horror game. <laughs> um, and we have a wonderful uh, group of players, uh, a couple of whom you might have seen last week uh, for our sort of Session Zero prologue, but. Uh, uh, some of whom are new faces here, and uh, why don't uh, let's have everybody introduce yourselves? Say hello. Hi. 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 Uh, I'm 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 Greg. The great I'm, I'm, is this how is this how I do this? I just I'm, I'm new to this thing. <laughs> um, yeah, we have some interesting characters uh, in this in this game tonight. Um, and we'll be getting into it just momentarily here. I had a couple of, uh, I, I, I do uh, a thing we've been trying to remember to do. Uh, before we start playing, do any of you as people, are there any things you want to like plug or talk about or, you know, mention of the of the other, other gaming or social or anything varieties? Uh, I will mention that on this same channel on Mondays, you can watch uh, our other game uh, that is called Top Flight, and that is a uh, superhero RPG, and that's a lot of fun. Anybody have a, a thing to plug or? A... I, I mean, I'm on I'm on Twitch Tuesday through Thursday. If you guys like uh, playing uh, uh, mobile mobile video games, that's what I do. That's fun. I should, I should actually probably talk in my voice, and so. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, yes. Forgive of... forgive me. This portion can be can be as humans, not in character. Yes, for fair enough, us. fair enough, for sure. Uh, but I'm I'm the Deadwood Jedi on Twitch and on YouTube, and so you can find my stuff there. Excellent. Um. Uh, I'm on a podcast called Fear Initiative. It's a D and D, also horror podcast, uh, like horror comedy D and D. It was created by Blumhouse Studios, and it's on anywhere you can find podcasts. <laughs> that's great. That that's almost like a almost like a brand for you. It is. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, great. Okay. Um, well, if we if we don't have any more announcements, you can always. Uh... Always, always shout those out if you if you have other ones at, at other times. <laughs> um, but for uh, for now, um, I think we'll go ahead and begin with tonight's opening invocation as we enter the domains of dread. And I know that I'm damned if I never get out, and maybe I'm damned if I do. But with every other beat I've got left in my heart. You know, I'd rather be damned with you. So, we begin late at night near the shores of Sleepy Lake next to the town of Paradise. It's prom night, spring. There's a little bit more warmth in the air than there often is in this town. It's a small town. Most people who live there consider it a happy place, despite how much they're afraid of things outside their windows in the night. How often people they've known for what seems like years suddenly disappear, without satisfactory explanation. But tonight is a night of celebration, of revelry. It's prom night. All those high schoolers are having such a good time. Um, and as often happens on a prom night, kind of random groups wind up coalescing and forming, um, and sort of then reforming, bumping into one another. There's several kids are probably at the diner in town. Other kids are, you know, at someone's, at someone's house, having a house party. Um, but you all. Find yourselves on the shores of Sleepy Lake, peering across sort of the softly lapping waters. On the far side, you see the mist. Now, one thing about Paradise is there is mist surrounding the town. It's a mist you never enter. You have no reason to. People come in through it sometimes, and occasionally a traveler will pass through and head out. But for the most part... It's not the kind of place you like to go. Right now, across the lake, you could barely see it here in kind of the, the cloudy night. There's a summer camp called Camp Sleepy Lake. It's 
completely shrouded in mist. You can barely make out the docks where there are a few canoes, rowboats tied, as there are on some docks on this side of the lake as well. And in the summer, usually it warms up enough that that area is not covered in mist for for a while. But for now, you can you can barely see maybe the faintest sighting of, of a couple of the cabins there before the camp extends further. You're not the only students from Paradise High here on this lake, lake shore. Um, you may have come with different groups, or maybe some of you came together, but the point is, the four of you, in your prom night finest, find yourself standing, or kind of probably off to the side, um, of some of the coolest kids in school. You see that Gina, she's the prom queen. Mickey, he is just, he's got a leather jacket. I mean, he wore his leather jacket to prom. This guy's rad. Holly, captain of the cheer squad, <clears throat> and her boyfriend, the football player, Will. Not the quarterback, but he's like a real popular guy. They're all here amongst other kids. And the four of you, I would like for you to please describe yourselves um, and what you're wearing. Let's start with Greg the Great. Oh, yeah. Um, my, I'm, my, I'm Greg Johnson, uh, formally, but I prefer to go by my professional name of Greg the Great. I am a magician, um, aspiring. Uh, I, um, you can tell I, I obviously am not very athletic. I'm uh, stuck in this wheelchair, but that's not doesn't doesn't keep me down. I have the power to overcome any pebbles in my path. <laughs> that's my it's a joke I like to say. Um, I I'm not always in school because um, my health isn't great, so I spend um, a lot of time with my mom. But um, I'm really excited to hang out with everybody today because I don't get to see everybody that much. Um, and uh, yeah, that's 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 me. Um, I'm a, a good student, but um, I don't really have any friends. So, um, you know, that's really what um, I'm hopeful today. Maybe I can get a, a friend. Ooh. I'm gonna, we told you yeah. we, we told you this was going to be a dark uh, game. Um, let's talk about let's talk about Danny. Let's talk about Danny La Jolla. Well, um, you know, Danny, I'm, I'm decked out. I mean, I got my powder blue tux, cummerbund, uh, giant carnation. But, uh, you know, I almost didn't make it to the prom because, you know, I got a big tournament coming up. And Sensei Mark really likes us to train hard. So, um, you know, in his, in his honor, in my pocket, I have a little a, a tenagui, which is, you know, which is the scarf. You know, the scarf. It's the scarf, you know? So, I'm prepared. You know, I'm prepared. And uh, I'm just hoping that maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll talk to one of the cheer squad or something. I don't know. I don't well, there know. are a couple of them here for, I, I, you for know, Danny I to be... Reach- I got to focus on, I know I got to focus on my training though. I got to, fo- I don't, it's just a little bit, it's a little bit much, but I'm, I'm happy to be here with my buddy, Greg. Um, we're buddies, you know? Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, we're in a group here, so. Uh, right, right, I, right. I, I know. Yeah. I would certainly say that Danny uh, is, is very right. The, the likelihood that one of these cheerleaders would start dating him and distract him from his upcoming karate tournament is is. Well, it's high. Um, I mean, I got that's why I gotta be disciplined. So anyway, Zeke. So good. Let's introduce Zeke. Zeke. Have that restraint. Um, prom's not really my scene, but it's a real good time for party favors, and I am the uh, the party favor master. So I'm just you know I go where I'm uh, I'm called to. Anyway, uh. <clears throat> I know the popular crew. All right. And, uh, you know, Danny, if you're looking for, you seem a little amped. So if you want something to help bring you down, 
Talk yeah, to everybody. I mean, I'm, I'm dead. You want you want to do some, you know, some guided meditation? That something like that. All right. Guided being the operative word. Zeke, there actually is someone here. Um, she doesn't go to your school. Um, you feel like you might have seen her a couple years ago. Um, she might have been a few years ahead of you in school. Uh, but she is kind of as this as this whatever gathering here. I'm sure a bonfire has been you know built at this point to kind of stand against the the dark, oppressive clouds and mist around and everything. So you guys all revel here on the on the lakeside. Uh, this is a she's probably in her early twenties, and her name is Ellen. You do remember that much. She was probably in school a few years ahead of you, but. Um, you know she used to work as a waitress, but you haven't seen her in a while. But she kind of is kind of making her way towards you with that that sort of look that you have grown very accustomed to spotting. This is someone who probably wants to buy something. Um, so as 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 she kind of comes your way, uh, let's also just uh, could you describe Alice to us, please? Um. I wouldn't usually be here, um, but uh, someone keeps leaving me things on my doorstep, uh, and and someone left me this dress, uh, this like corseted dress, um, and I wrote him back, and I left him a raven feather and a rat's tail because I thought he would like that. Um, so yeah, uh, I wouldn't normally be here because. I don't have any friends either, uh, but I'm hoping that whoever sent me this dress is here. <laughs> so, as these kind of, um, and for the record, not not by design, as these four kind of more misfit outcast uh, members of the high school um, are here gathered at the lake, um, we're going to begin with with this woman. Ellen, approaching you, Zeke. Hey, you're Zeke, aren't you? I, uh, I hear you have, um, I hear you sometimes, uh, carry certain things that can, can get you into a different sort of a headspace. Well, sure. It's, uh, sorry, you look familiar. I'm Ellen. I'm Ellen. Sorry. Uh, you look familiar too. I think maybe we rode the school bus together when I was when I was in seventh grade, and you were just a little kid. Uh, but I, I I heard your name. I heard your name. Uh, you're the one I'm I'm sort of looking for. Uh, I just do you have anything that can calm down someone who is who's wild? Sure. Sometimes it feels so good to be wild, but sometimes you gotta calm them down. Step over to my office. Sure, sure. You guys see that sort of Zeke is stepping aside with this woman. Um, some of those, some of those popular kids are sort of noticing this and kind of, kind of chatting about that, and and this is becoming like a point of conversation. I don't think any of the rest of you are close enough to them to exactly overhear what they're saying at this point, just kind of ambiently. But you do, you do sense that this is causing some kind of buzz. Um, Ellen will say, yeah, so can you, can you please, can you, can you help me? It's just, it's so wild sometimes. Do you have a friend, uh, do you have a preference? Benzos, barbiturates? Just, I just, something that could take down a bear. He's, he's big. He gets so crazy. His eyes are on fire. Got some Zannies back here. Anything, anything. I, I've got, um, I've got money. And she pulls out a roll. Bank roll. Coated in blood on the side. That. Yeah, just anything you can give me. Just, I just need a lot. <clears throat> All right. He's already gonna be mad that I've been gone this long. <laughs> Who knows what he'll do? I promise uh, I won't tell him. I promise I won't tell him I came to talk to you. The name of the game. Here you go. She collects whatever you're willing to give her, having handed you a big wad of money. 
blood caked over an entire half of it. And uh, kind of just gripping what, however you gave it to her just in her hands, she disappears out into the dark. Um, at this point, Will, the football player, he kind of comes over and goes, Hey, hey, Zeke. Yeah. Do you know who that is? Alan? Yeah. Do you know where she's been? Not my business. Oh, man. I think she's been with that crazy guy, right? Uh, like what? Are, like those? Like the like the the flower children, hippy dippy people. You know, like the like I keep hearing about them. They're doing weird stuff. Sounds like business. Yeah, would you sell her? Some Xanius. Okay, well I want whatever she was having. She cleared me out, dude. Sorry. Oh, whatever. Uh, he goes back over to Holly, the the cheerleader. It's like, oh, um, sorry. Um, she seems upset that they can't party as hard as, as some, as some strange kind of cult out in the forest. He comes back to you again and says, okay, wait, where did she go? Like, like she said, she's, is she going back to where they are? Did she say where they're hanging out? No, she just said that whoever she was with was like a bear or something. It's like, okay. I don't know. The, the money was kind of weird, but I'm not going to say no to cash. My family's got plenty of cash. I can send her to cash anytime I want. <laughs> Whatever. Looking for party favors. I have some other things. She wanted something to bring you down anyway. You don't want that. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Well, actually, we should be. It is a party, though. Yeah, we should be doing something fun. I got an idea. He kind of glances at, at all of you. Hey. Hey guys, it's prom night. Come on over. Come on over, weird chick and uh, and uh, karate chop and wheels. Get over here. <laughs> Come on, guys. No, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. We're all friends, right? It's prom night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh huh. <laughs> so, uh, did you guys have fun at the party? Yeah. Did you get any of the punch before the the spiked punch before they got rid of it? The punch was spiked right. for a minute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are there any mirrors here? Uh, his girlfriend Holly begins laughing. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> it clearly you have never seen like yeah uh, that explains it. If there's no mirrors in your house, <laughs> I have one in my purse. Do you want to get a good look at yourself? No, She's pulling out like a... Okay. Puts that away. Steps I was aside. Just trying to be cautious. Like, know where they are at all times. Which ones are, you know... What, These kids are so ones, weird. Alice? How's mm-hmm. it going, Holly? What, what ones? <laughs> yeah. M- mirrors... You, you have to be really cautious of them. Of My mirrors? My lover told me. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Honey, what are you on? Hmm? I'm, I'm just curious. Is there someone else in town right now supplying some stuff? Like, what? what is this? No. But I think I'm in love. <laughs> Sure you are. Yeah, there's guys lining up to be with you. I am positive. Um, I mean, you shouldn't be surprised. I mean, she's she's kind of a catch. Yeah, like a giant stinking, like, tuna fish. What? Catch, yeah. Throw it back. Nah. Uh, th- that would be worth a lot of money, okay? <laughs> Okay. My family's yeah. wealthy. <laughs> we don't need a bunch of money. Uh, rich kids. Whatever. She's kind of just. She's just being her. But uh, but but her her boyfriend's like, hold on though, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now let's let's be nice. Let's be nice. Uh, okay, so you got a boyfriend. That's pretty cool. What's your name again? Alice. 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 All right, Alice. Well, that's cool. Got a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Way to go. 
thanks. It's a cause for celebration, right? I guess. Is he at school? Did you go to prom with him? Um, he gave me this dress. And, and I, I gave him a raven feather. Okay. Uh, <laughs> cool. All right, cool. Um, well, I got an idea. Since we're sort of like telling some secrets here, I think if you guys want to keep parting with us, why don't we play a little truth or dare? <laughs> Because I want to know more about this boyfriend of yours. Dare. Or, you'll do a dare? Yeah. All right. All right. Um, Danny, are you sure you want to... Oh, no, I got it. I got this. I got this. Got a dare? I've been training for this. Cool. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, I dare you... Yeah? ...to go walk into that lake up to your neck and stand there for a minute. Okay. That's going to ruin your... No, it's all right. You don't have to do it. It's going. <laughs> oh, it's cool. It's cool. <clears throat> all right. All right. This is, there's a, it's a flag underneath. It's okay. Don't want to ask. It's a flag. It's okay. All right. This kid's weird. Yeah, no, go ahead, man. No, this is, this is impressive. You're doing this. This is cool. So you go into the water. Well, yeah, I gotta take off my I gotta take off my trousers too, you know. I th my underwear also have a flag on them. The uh, the popular girls start like catcalling, kind of. Um, roll an insight check, Danny. Boy, here we go. Okay. Um, insight. Uh, uh, fourteen. I think you can tell that it's sarcastic. Mm. I'm gonna try my best not to let them know that I know. Understood. I'm just gonna go. I'm I'm gonna fold myself up, nice and neat. There hand it go. over to Greg. Here you go, buddy. Keep this safe. Doing. You're looking looking good, Dean. The girls like it. Here we go. It's a good thing I've been training in the dunk tank. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna walk straight in. Here we go. You begin walking into the water. It is frigidly cold mm. and just inky black mm. in the night. You mm. continue going. It also, like, as you're stepping, it's it's silty in places, but also very rocky. It's kind of hard on your feet. Um, even as you start getting deeper, um, mm. and occasionally you'll step on something uh, that is hard, but almost like cracks or crunches. Ah, oh, the twigs, of course. Um, Sure. Definitely feels not at all like a twig. As you continue into the water, though, you eventually get to chest depth. <sighs> then a little further and a little further, and eventually you are up to your neck. And he's like, all right, one minute. Somebody start the clock. One of his buddies is like, okay. Pull out their watch. Um, and guys, he, he's, he already got to his neck. He doesn't have to stay there for a minute, does he? He should probably come back. One minute. Um... Doing great, Danny. Yeah, I'm gonna look around. Do any of the, are any of the girls taking looking at me? Everyone's looking at your head. Yes. Um, and you kind of feel like things like floating past almost. It feels like a like a weed or like <laughs> like you know like like seagrass or something. Kind of just. Mm -hmm. Um. And after about twenty seconds or so. Some of it seems to have, like, you feel it almost, like, wrapping around your leg. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to pull out the small switchblade I keep tucked in my underwear. Okay. And I'm going to sort of, like, just sort of... I'm freaking out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I mean, is this worth it? I don't know. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. Since I'm Mike. <sighs> All right. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, just sort of, you know, is it hurting me? 
Make a perception check. Okay. Uh, perception. <laughs> Ten. It's not, it's not, it's like, it's it's getting tight, it's not hurting, but it also, it, it doesn't necessarily just feel like, maybe it's, it, it must just be some seaweed or something tangling around your leg. But. I'm going to, I'm going to try, I'm just going to sort of like reach, I'm going to pull up my leg, I'm quite flexible. So as you begin to pull your leg, you definitely feel resistance, almost as ah. if something is like gripping your calf. Okay. All right. And you have pulled the little blade out. Okay. Yeah. Um, how, what, what, what are we at right now in terms of count? Uh, I'll say this has been about a very tense six seconds. So you're at about 24 <laughs> seconds in as you're like yeah. pulling. Uh, um, but as right. you began pulling your leg up, you feel it like pulling back down. And you're definitely like, you guys all see okay. his head like slightly like, uh. Everything uh, good? You good, Danny? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and like try to put, like, push, you know, do one to push, push it down. A little All bit. right. So as you do that, like your head begins dipping under the water, just because you're. I mean, you're you're already at the neck. What's that football player's name? Will. Will you? He, he's he doesn't look good. You should should we go help him? And as you begin to try to kick it away. Instead, you feel what is not just kind of like a pull or whatever, as it's not just weed wrapping around your legs. It is, there's, you feel like something is grabbing you. You feel like there's a hand wrapping around your leg. And I need you to go ahead and make a, uh, you can do an athletics or acrobatics check contested I'll, against their own. I'll do an acrobatics. All right. So you try to slip away. Hmm. I have I have had acrobatics too. Hmm. Wait, wait, um wait. it feels it feels like I I really just do want to show this off because I have rolled a natural 20 to begin this campaign. Um and you all see Greg <sighs> under the water. <laughs> all right, so I think we'll go ahead and we'll roll initiative. Not necessarily you're all going to be waiting out there. Um, he is probably a good 40 feet out. Eh, we'll say 30 feet out to have gotten quite that deep. Uh, so let's do some initiative rolls here. All right. I've got to use the magic D20. Ooh. All right, is anyone here above... A 20. 20 or higher. Oh, no. <laughs> Is anybody here above a 15, a 15 or higher? Yes, what do we have, Greg? 19. 19, hey, way to go. <clears throat> anybody, uh, t uh, yes? I also rolled a 19. W uh, which, uh, what are your respective dexterity scores? 13. I'm going to Uh, who would like to go first? Zeke can go first if you want. All right. I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> Zeke and... Uh, that, you're right. You're right. Greg is going to go first. That makes way more sense. All right. Yeah. Greg will go yeah, first, then Zeke. Uh, I'm way more concerned. What do yeah. you have, Alice? A natural one. All right. And uh, what does that bring you to? A one. All right. And uh, you are not paying attention. You are thinking about how good you look at this dress, wondering when the moon's going to come out. Um, <laughs> uh, and then what uh, What about you, Daniel, son? Uh, that's, a, that's a nine. Mm-hmm. Big, All huge. Right. Huge rolls. Oh, okay. All right. So I am sad to say that uh, neither Greg nor Zeke get to go first in this combat. Instead, you are pulled down uh, into the water and you feel this 
body just you there is something down here you can't see it's completely dark down here but you feel like an arm that has pulled your leg another arm is now on your side and you feel rubbery bloated cold skin sinking against your flesh as teeth are trying to bite into your chest ah Does a 13 hit your armor class? A 13 just hits. Okay. All right. You take seven points of damage as this thing is sinking completely into you. And you are underwater and you've been bitten. All right. Um. I got this. I Zeke, got this. all you've seen is he's gone under the water. There's been a bit of splashing something. Is there anything you'd like to do at this moment? Uh, no. Okay. Do you want me to go first? Should I go first? Yeah. I go, you go. Um, uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Um, uh, um, uh, let's, let's get some light. And I, I'm going to shoot a firebolt across the water. Uh, and surprise myself. Understood. So you guys see this, what you assume is just a a rather impressive pyrotechnic effect as this just bolt of flame kind of cascades, steam rising up over the top of the water. Um, Do we um, see anything underneath? I would like you to make a perception check. Those on the shore can make a perception check if they'd like to. And, natural one. Uh, um, a natural one. You are too. Imp- you're. 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 You stared right at the wrong wow. place. You wow. were staring right at where you should not have been staring. Um, I'm also going to mention here because I forgot. Well, I forgot to do this. Some of our players. Uh, yes, the HP for your current level zero characters is one uh, D eight. I should have had you roll, but I figured we'd go max, so it's not just a disaster. It is one D eight plus your Constitution modifier. That is your starting hit points. So it's eight plus your con mod. You get the full eight. Um, so yes, you see this. The light goes. Now, uh, if both of you would make a perception check, because clearly you're you're staring out here trying to see something uh, for uh, for Alice and, and Zeke. Well, they do that. I, I want to grab Will and just be like, something happened. You got to gotta go in there and help him. He's I just joking around. There. He's joking around. He's joking around. It's fine. No, he's not. Gary... He, Look, Danny wouldn't joke. He cares. Zeke, do something. Zeke and 14. Alice of 14? And then Alice 18. would... 18. Uh, both of you do see under the water that there are two figures. Kind of just about like a foot or two down. You see two bodies kind of tangled up together. Um... Um, That's the end of my turn, pleading to them. Wonderful. Uh, very good. Um, Dan, Daniel, it is your turn. Uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to try to wriggle free. Okay, go ahead. It is a contested thing. Uh, I believe you can use acrobatics or athletics. Uh, that's a, that is a, th- a 13, a 7 plus 5. I said I was going to be... I'm just going to do what the dice do. Mm-hmm. It's a 19 to mm. keep you there. Okay. See, my instinct as the DM is every once in a while fudge things like this or try to give them some reason yeah. for advantage. Not in this game. Um, as you try to struggle to break free, your knife in hand... There's this grip on your... One of these kind of like rubbery kind of rotting bloated hands just just a death grip on your calf the other is on your side but it's really the teeth that have dug into your ribs that are holding you there and i think i realized in this moment that maybe since i since i mark hasn't hasn't uh, trained me for this no sadly no <sighs> should have done taekwondo instead uh let's see on Will's turn, 
he is going to... Uh, he rolls a 19 on the die. So Will does, like, a big, big belt of whiskey. Like, it isn't a thing. Keeps it down. No problems. Okay. Alice, is there anything you would like to do? Having seen what you've seen. Um, I just... Where's Greg? In... in Is he next to me? Yeah. Okay, I just turned to Greg and I'm like, um, Greg, I... I just saw two really gross creatures uh, in the water. Um, what should we do? Like, strangle them? We have to get Danny out of the water. That's what we have to do. Um, okay. Uh, how far away is he from me? About 30 feet is where you saw him go in. Uh, I'm gonna walk towards there, and as I'm walking there, I'm kind of, like, going through all my bags and trying to find, like, something big enough to for me to, like, toss him and, like, yank him out of. Like, do I have any... So are supplies? you, are you like, wading into the water, or you're just getting there to the shore? Like, you're just I'm getting... getting there, and I'm trying to, like... I'm looking through my art supplies and okay. my thieves' tools and but things. But are you, are seeing, you... Like, are you wading into the water? Not yet. <laughs> okay. Um, make an investigation check. Uh, 14. 14. You don't feel like you don't have like a good, you don't really have like a rope or a grappling hook or something. Um, okay. You don't have anything that you could use to like get to someone from afar amidst these items, unfortunately. It is, it is, however, admirable how much stuff you did bring with you to prom in this ball gown. That part is impressive. Um, but as you kind of spend your turn just going through, you just you don't see anything that can try to fish a person out of the water in that way. Okay. Um, do I? Can I see um, these creatures still? Make another perception check. This one uh, is at disadvantage because it's really kind of the, the light of that flame that was momentarily there is gone. Oh, dang it. Okay. Um, seven. You spend your time sort of looking and looking through your stuff. You just don't don't see anything of use. Okay. Um, I want to prep my... I want to get out if I still can do anything. Can I just... I just want to prep my slingshot. For the sure, next you want to just have your I'll slingshot in turn. hand. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Top of the round. Something is going to take another bite. It's an 18 on the die. So, mm. did, did Zeke get a turn? Zeke did. Zeke went before I, you and said, yeah, and I, I do like, nothing. No. Oh, cool. Turn declined. <laughs> Um, what is your hit point maximum right now? Uh, my, well, I'm at two right now. You're at two. Yeah. And what is your max, though? My max is nine. I've done 12 points of damage. So you are just dead. There's no more saves. There's no more anything. <gasps> um, if you please, as Daniel oh. has been <laughs> bit into, now none of you see this, but kind of another just this... <clears throat> Teeth sink in. Uh, Daniel, uh, or rather, Andrew, uh, we will, this is goodbye to Daniel. If you will just, uh, do you have another, uh, uh, why don't you go ahead and just bring about one of your other characters who might be here at this party? Uh, sure. Go ahead and change your name in the in the thing, and we will get here in a moment. Um, but as the rest of you, Zeke, is there anything oh, you'd like to do now? So so we don't know he's dead yet. You don't, you don't know. All you see is it's dark. Okay, I don't think this shit's funny anymore, and Mickey needs to cut this shit out. I don't know who you have under there pulling down this kid, but it's not cute. Just call it off. He's... He's fine. We don't have... You think we have somebody in the water? That's crazy. Yeah, have you been, yeah I have do. Have you been getting high on your own supply? No, man. It's not... I know <laughs> you're embarrassing this kid. 
Congrats. Hey, he's doing fine. He graduated first grade. You were trying to embarrass this kid. It's not funny anymore. Eh. Call it off. Okay, just, he hasn't been out there a minute. After a minute, we'll get worried. Uh, no, call, call it off. It's not funny anymore, Call dude. what off? There's no one. Uh, Greg, it's your turn. As, 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 as Will and Zeke are kind of mm. having this conversation. Uh, as they're having that conversation, I roll, uh, I roll right up to Will, um, right in front of his face. I'm like, you need to stop this now. Um, there's go tell your friend to stop messing around. And then, uh, I do a big, uh, I do a big, uh, flame blast right in his face, like a press digitation, just kind of tell you what, I'd like you to roll an arcana check. Uh, 13? 13. That is like, Jesus. What the hell, kid? It's crazy. Okay, God, calm down. We'll look, we'll get into it. Uh, he seems to have, now there is some concern. Uh, Daniel is, is no more. We'll be getting to your next character after uh, initiative is over. Uh, Will is going to uh, kind of, Will is going to peer into the water. Be like, Can you guys see him? He's kind of calling everybody to look in the water see what they can find. He rolls a, actually it's at a disadvantage, so it's probably even worse than that. Yeah, he rolls a five plus nothing. So he can't see anything. Um, Alice, it is your turn. You're there right at the at edge. Um, last you saw, there was some kind of struggle going on. There's there's definitely, has been some splashing over there, a couple bubbles coming up, but nothing, you know, and he's only been under about 12 seconds at this point. Okay. Um, can I try and look again and try and see if I see anything or like you can absolutely um uh, go yeah. ahead and make a perception check at disadvantage why because it's just so dark and murky okay 11 11 you can see a couple of forms still tangled together almost, but you can't really make it out. It doesn't seem to be... One of them seems to be, like, like, almost breaking away from the other. Um... Does... You see three forms? Two. You Two. see, you see, but I mean, but like, you, you, it's, it's, you see like what you think might be an arm with an 11. You're not seeing anything. You just see arms, legs, and maybe some separation. But okay. again, it's just like through completely murky, dark water. You can't. Okay. I can't make out like who could be the aggressor. Not with an 11, no. Okay. Um, I'm going to slingshot, uh, one of the forms and see like, what happens? Not least, I don't want it to kill anybody. Understood. You're going to try to shoot your thing in the water. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and take your shot. You are trying to shoot, kind of a, you know, what are you? What are you slingshotting? I'm gonna slingshot one of the one of the forms. Roll roll any any die for me. Any die. Any die. Like, Just tell me if it's even or odd. Okay. Um, it's a nat twenty. <laughs> a nat twenty. Fair enough. Go ahead and roll. So roll your attack. Okay. Uh, what is... How do I do this? Uh, this for you, uh, because you're proficient, so this will be two plus your dexterity. It would be dex? Yeah, it would be dex. Oh, so yeah. plus two. It's okay. plus two. Okay, so a plus four to hit. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, 22. A 22. You fire in and you, you know, the kind of the, the stone probably kind of moved a bit, but you think that you kind of, you know, moved up and you think you shot down into something. Okay. Okay. Does anything happen? Um, not that you can see. Uh, because, you know, you've kind of ripples in the waves. However, a couple moments after that, um, uh, A, you see the waters beginning to part and stepping out, holding his head is Danny. Kind of looking up like, and begins kind of like emerging from the water, kind of swam like pretty quickly up closer, but is emerging like 
When you say holding his head. Oh. Sorry, not holding his head, but like <laughs> like as if you just hit him in the head with something. Oh, uh, okay. And, and actually, go ahead and give me damage on that if you don't mind. Okay. Um, remind me, what what do I roll for a slingshot? Uh, it's a d4 plus your dex. It's d4. Okay, cool. Oh, no. Plus 10. I don't have any. I don't, it's a it? one. A one. Oh. Great. All right. Um, so that is three points. Great. Okay. Um, cool. But, but this, it's like... Ugh. Best start yet. And you see, you see Daniel emerging from the water. Ah! Uh, are you okay? Ah! And Will's like, see, he's fine. You know who did the problem? It's your, 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 uh, the, the, the girl with the mystery boyfriend just shot him in the head with a rock. So, uh, no, you're fine, right? You're fine. Uh, yeah, come on, come here. Uh, and kind of just pulls, pulls aside, uh, uh, Daniel's just like looks pretty dazed, kind of like just doesn't want anyone touching him. Just looks around, kind of just dripping in that, uh, in in his flag and flag. Uh, now there is another person here who, honestly, based on the setting here, that it being sort of like water based, might be stepping forward. Uh, can you describe uh, who this person might be for us? Well, uh, I mean, uh, you know, everybody step aside. I I, I have I have absolute authority here i mean you may have seen me at the swim swim plex uh everyone i'm tron all right so um i gotta check this guy out will what the heck man you can't let you can't let that cocky dude go in the in the murky water like that what are you do what are you thinking that is a hazard bro hey zeke what's up it, it was a dare oh Guys, it was no a joke. I gotta, I gotta check you. You might have a concussion, bro. Just kind of backing away. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, kind of voice sounds sort of like hoarse or like. I, I, no, no. But listen, you need to sit down and let Tron take care of you, bro. Um, make a persuasion check. All right. Yeah. All right, that's a super cool 10. Persuasion. Persuasion. 12. Can I help with the, uh... come on, Danny, just let him, just let him look you over. Make sure you're okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh. What happened? Uh. Uh. I'm okay. Uh, kind of is trying not to back up too much is just standing there is saying and the voice sounds like Danny but th the words seem off certainly thinking uh, Tron why don't you make a medicine check for me yeah I mean this my bro, my bro definitely has a concussion man it's not cool oh no alright 15 bro 15 yeah you are very confident that yeah Bro, you gotta lay down. You can't go to sleep, man. Your your pupils are all dilated. Like you know, like you need medical attention, bro. I'm okay. I'm okay. Will's like, yeah, he's fine. Let's just keep playing, okay? Will, he Will, did a you good be job. Quiet. You know what, Will? I'm tired of it out, out of you. All right, bro. All right, I'm tired of it. You're the one who got us into this mess. All right, dude. There's no mess. We're having some fun. I no, had some fun dares you... worked out for these guys. No. Whatever. I got a dare for you. How about you ask your girlfriend what she's been doing in the bleachers, all right? Now you. <laughs> Babe, I don't know what he's talking about other than watching your games. Except, wait, I don't do that from the bleachers because I'm cheering. So you're not going to chop me in a lot. And one more thing, Tront, you're tacky and no one likes you. <laughs> uh, well, we know that's not true. And sometimes uh, if I go to the bleachers, you what would even you know about what was happening there? What would even you know about what was happening there? Uh, because my little sister's also on the chair squad, well, and she tells me what happens within the chair squad. Well, all, all I right? know is so, that your sister is a skank who is a liar. Oh, well, I mean, I think you should just be a little bit body positive, all right? Like, it's okay. It's all totally I mean, all right. You don't have to confine yourself into like this little box, all right? Daniel, 
I gotta go. <laughs> Looking around is going to say, um, oh, poor Daniel. See, now when I want this thing to roll really high, it's not doing it for me. Daniel kind of looks over at, uh, at Mickey, who's in his leather jacket, and says, uh, uh is that my clothes? Mickey's like, what? I have, your, I have your clothes. They're over here. Oh, oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. And and Daniel goes over and takes the clothes from you. No, I'm gonna go. I'm. I need. To, I really need. I mean, this is. It is my duty as a lifeguard and a representative of the swimplex in paradise to make sure that you're all right, buddy. Uh, are you okay, I, Danny? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. Uh, starts kind of just putting on the clothing very kind of haphazardly. Uh, but if you're you're over there trying to inspect... Oh, yeah. Go ahead and make... Uh, 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 Daniel is, like, resisting attempts to have hands put on him. Are you touching him anyway? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, the okay. bra, I mean, like, bra needs help, man. Uh, in that case, go ahead and... Um, God, this will be really good if I just kill you twice in a row. Um, <laughs> go ahead and make... Uh, uh, this isn't, uh, let it just have it just be like, kind of like, just, it's like a, it's athletics, but it's really just kind of physicality. It's not like a full, you're not grappling. So you don't even have to exceed. Um, um, okay. Uh, that's a 12, 12. That's you, nice. you do manage to put hands on and you're kind of just like looking at the head wound. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I want to like, I want to, I want to make sure that he's like, not, he's clearly a little off. I mean, even more so. You you don't see a physical head wound. His skin feels like much more sort of wet and like sticky and almost like viscous than it looks. Um, you can still see your fingers like sinking into it as you do it, but it, it, the skin feels like bloated and 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 just dead and lifeless. Um, as you're kind of reaching for the head, you don't see a wound on the head at all where where he was gripping. Yes, go ahead. Is there a are there wounds on his body? Since you don't. You don't on? see any wounds on his body. No. Okay. But you don't. When you're kind of getting up there and you're like pulling, he's like, ah, ah, I'm okay, I'm okay. You're looking at the head and you don't see like a a cut or even a bump or anything. Whoa. Fine. Kind of pulls pulls away. I'm gonna. Hey, hey Zeke. Yeah. What's up? Hey, listen. You don't like. You think he's he's on something? You know I mean, I didn't sell it to him, but based on this Alice chick, someone might be handing out their own brand of shit these days. I don't know. <sighs> like his skin feels real gross, like real gross, right? Like. I mean, he was just in the lake. Oh. Fine. Hey Zeke. Yeah. Um. <coughs> Isn't your stuff, like, medicinal? I mean, I don't think after a concussion that. Uh, I mean, maybe. We gotta keep help. him awake. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, my girl have... knows what's up. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. If you're paying, I am not, not liable for... Not that I would know, but isn't there, like, a... Like, a... a, a upper energy strain yeah we've got some things that would definitely keep him amped for a while if you want uh, yeah free. yeah i mean i mean normally I, I mean i'm not talking as a representative of the spoonplex but i think that i mean yeah i mean doctors right. give people drugs right yeah that sounds great yes, they do honey give they him do. give him drugs and we can keep playing yeah that's great hey danny you did a great will, job will what did i say what did I say? That's enough out of you, man. Oh, whatever. Whatever. You guys don't want to hang? That's fine. <laughs> whatever. Come on. And the popular kids begin walking away, and now you're all here. Oh. Kind of, as Danny's like, I'll play. I want to play. You under the bleachers. Hey, why someone? Did I hear something? Probably not. I'm drunk. Whatever. She walks off. <laughs> um, so... It's now well, really, it's really, there, there's a few other kids kind of hanging around here, but it's now, those those more popular kids are kind of moving on. But, but Daniel's here, As kind of did. with you all, just looking up. He, do I get the sense that something's really off with him? 
Make an insight. I mean, like, his skin feels, like, The weird, skin right? felt weird. Go ahead and make an insight check. All right. Yeah, man. Oh. Natural one. You are sure that the skin, the skin is just probably, I mean, you never see this kid kind of hang out in the sun, so you just assume he's like an indoor recluse, so he must have some weird skin condition. Probably, probably that's probably why he cool. didn't want you to touch him. Okay. And uh. you don't see a visible thing. He's probably just freaked out. He might have like inhaled a little water, but he seems fine. You think he might be concussed, but he also just might be freaking out. So you, no, you don't really right. suspect anything too nefarious at this point. God, I love right, those Danny. nat ones. It's great. All right, Dan I mean, Danny, like, if you feel like you're <laughs> you're you're totally stoked and ready to go, bro, like, it's just, that's cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I, I pull out Hopper, and I go, oh, hey, hey do you want to, maybe this will make you feel better, Danny, if you just, like, um, Hopper, Hopper, Hopper's great. Makes everybody oh, feel better. Look at that little bunny. Does anyone have any money for anything? Like, if I'm providing some um, stimulation. I mean, we. Uh, uh, you don't want Hopper? Uh, are you if you, paying uh, me in bunny? No, it's. I thought it'd make Danny feel better. Danny looks at Hopper and looks very nervous. And Hopper, for whatever it's worth for you, actually, um, can you tell me something about Hopper real quick? Hopper is a very good bunny, very good bunny, but is 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 one of three kinds of bunny. Not sure if you know how that spell works completely. Um, let's say Hopper is either just for the sake of just like a like just for a fun little thing. Let's say that Hopper is either a a fae defeat a fae fiend or celestial bunny. Mm. If you understand what I'm asking. Sure, yeah. sure. I got that. Um, I don't think that Greg would know. Okay. So roll, uh, roll, a, roll a die. Roll a die. I like it. So it's, D I'm going to do D6. It'll be one, two, Celestial, three, four, Fey, five, six, Fiend. Oh, uh, okay. Fiend. Fiend. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Um. So, so Hopper kind of... Okay looks at kind of like came out like is like <laughs> looks at the hang looks at Danny looks ahead and it's just and then looks up at you like that what what's wrong Hopper you like people don't you only to you and the way that you notice this happens on occasion you see Hopper nod ever so subtly. Yes, Hopper likes people. Make an insight check for your own bunny. <laughs> so Natural bad. one. Oh, we're so yeah. bad. Oh, Hopper's no. like, it's all good. No. It's all good. You like, no, yeah, you like people. Come on, go ahead. Why? Yeah, you like oh, Hopper, Hopper does what you say, and Hopper jumps over oh, God. to... <laughs> to Danny. Yeah. Danny leans down and looks at Hopper for a moment, and they just stare at one another. And Danny says, I'm okay. I want to play. Okay. Like. We were playing, right? Oh, oh yeah, we played yeah. Truth or Dare. I want to play uh, Truth or Dare. Okay. Who's next. All right. Like, okay. Hopper, uh, the, none of you notice Hopper go and just kind of bounce back over. <laughs> but this white rabbit is just like some, some real dramatic irony here. No, you don't. Uh, you know, you, you Hopper. None of you can hear speak, but uh, but in in his head, Hopper goes, "Oh, this is a most troubling development indeed." <laughs> it's the most good aware member back, of our it? party is a bunny <laughs> uh, so um, but Danny's <laughs> like saying I want to play truth or dare whose turn I want to play uh, well it's, uh, I'll, I mean, I'll go I'll go alright yeah brah um, sweet 
dare? Really, dude? <laughs> well, I thought it was. I, I, Go I, for it. I, no, I, this I, is. I you know what? This is worth not getting paid. Go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give uh, my girl Zeke a little. A little. You know. I would imagine Tront has purchased things from Zeke on on many oh, occasions. Yeah. No, no, I've uh, uh, I've supplied things to Zeke. <laughs> I mean, hello. You've grown grown some, yeah. Okay. For, oh yeah. Sure. Um. So um. As Danny took me up, you know. I dare you to do magic. <laughs> I just do sparkles. Eyes wide. <laughs> I dare you enter the crypt. Uh -huh. What? I dare you enter the crypt. What's the crypt? We're on the lake. There's no crypt well, here. Well, I... <laughs> Points, and this is something that you all have noticed about your town. Um, once you get out to the edge of town, there seem a uh, one notable thing about Paradise is there are there are six different cemeteries surrounding the town kind of know. mostly fading into the mist in different directions. There's also a few odd houses. Obviously, the section of the lake in the far side, that's one. But one thing is weird. It, you always feel like you get so turned around because there are so many times when you're standing here on the edge of town near the mist, and you look over and you're like, that's not where that cemetery... Oh, I guess it is. I thought that's it was next fast. to... I thought, but in any case, as kind of pointing over, as if on cue almost, like, like mist is clearing, and there is a there. You're closer to one of the cemeteries in town than you thought, and Danny is pointing directly into it. And Danny is saying, "I dare you enter the crypt." Now I'm gonna leave this. Uh, For many reasons, yes, this is how this will go. Uh, would uh, let's have uh, Alice? Would you please roll me a d6? You're going to determine which of these fine uh, cemeteries you're currently looking at. Five. Total normal number number of cemeteries. But fun fact: our town was designed by the same city planner that did Sunnydale. <sighs> <laughs> Five. You see, spreading from the mist, that you are looking at a tall collection of monumental statues. Gravestones standing 10, 15 feet tall. Statues of, of the departed or angels ferrying them to rest. There are many mausoleums in this. You were no you were looking at the graveyard known as the Lover's Lich Yard. Sweet. And Daniel is saying. Daniel, who is now put I'm gonna roll for this actually. A two. Daniel has put his clothes on wrong. In any case, uh like, like, like the blue powder jacket is kind of, but the point is Daniel's pointing into the lover's lich yard and telling you to enter the crypt. He dares you. But I can't, I can't, is, are you going to open the door? Like help me open the door? I dare you all. Dom Craig, you don't have to do this. I didn't yeah, sign up for a dare. Yeah, Greg, it's it's up, up bro, it's up to you. You know, we empower you. You don't have you. to do this, dude. This is yeah. the kids have left. You don't have anyone you have to freaking impress. D Danny, Danny this, being so yeah. weird. This is weird, it's Danny. I thought <laughs> that's kind of far, and you know, it's hard for me. I thought you were gonna ask me to 
do some magic or something. But I dare you enter the crypt. I dare you all enter the crypt. It is around this moment that the clouds begin to part, and you can see the full moon shining down like a spotlight into the lover's lich yard. Just this almost brightly lit. Every single statue there rimmed with light from above, as if they're glowing. These angels looking down, surrounding all these massive tall statues. How far away is this? It's closer than it, it's closer than you really would have guessed. It's probably only like 60 feet away. Um, I'll look at Hopper. A, 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 sh- a head shake of sorts. But not even a head shake, more of like a, like, ooh, that sort of, that sort of emotion from your little white rabbit. Did you real attach to that bunny? Yeah. He, Mr. I mean, Hopper. He's a, he's a pretty cute friend. little bunny, right? Like, he's right? Cute. Yeah. It makes everybody, makes everybody feel better. And I can do great magic with them. I love bunnies. But I look, I can make them disappear. Come on, Mr. Hopper. Disappears. And then I can bring him back. Whoa, ah. dude. I will say that to all of you, uh, I tell you what, everybody roll a perception check to see if you see the trick that's happening. Whoa. That one. Oh, 17, but I'm still super stoked. You don't see it. You don't see what he did. He's that good. Zeke? 13. You don't see it. All right. That's a really good trick. You were, you're like, you're like, I know it's not. Yeah. Bro, that's, that is epic. Yeah. Oh, I also, I have card tricks too. Do you want to, do you want to see some of those? Well, yeah. I, Danny, I'd what do you, do you want? As how about we just, just says yes, wave it out. Yeah. All right. Just pick a card. Pick yeah. A card. Da- Danny, pick a card, bro. That one. Uh, okay. Okay. Here, you take it. Go ahead. Hold it. Alice. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look at your card. I don't know what it is. Don't don't let me see. show everybody else. Show everybody else. I won't I won't look. I won't look. I won't see. Okay, did you show everybody? Cool, cool. cool. All right, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna tap one, two, three. Is this your card? Go ahead and roll um a, a performance intelligence check for me. Natural twenty. Twenty six. Like <laughs> The patter needs work, but you you believe you're seeing real magic. My bro. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And I know you came here to find somebody, right? You were looking for for love, right? Look look at your card. It's the king of hearts. You'll find oh. him. Oh, it's narratively relevant, bro. Oh, man. I knew it. Alice, because of that, you remember something about the dress that you're currently wearing. I'm going to send it to you via direct Zoom chat. Uh, I asked Greg, I'm like, um... So, can you always do magic, or is it only under the full moon? <laughs> um, I, uh, um, well, I can, I can, I can always do magic, but the full moon gives me more powers. Totally. I do a little spin, like a little wheelie on my wheelchair. Oh, uh, sweet wheelie, bra. Oh, it's like an ollie, bra. Thanks. I'm not really good at them. It's hard in the grass, but. Try. Yeah. What are all of your passive perceptions? I probably should have had you put that somewhere. It's not a huge deal, but just out of curiosity. Ten. Cool. Well, is anybody is anybody like under eight? Great. You not stealthily at all. See see that that Danny has started walking toward that lich yard. Danny, don't, you don't like this? I got, I got other tricks. Like, look, nothing up my sleeve, except for this flower 
that Dude, he your hands friend to, does uh, not seem okay. <laughs> Yeah, man, your 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 buddy, like, what's up with this dude? I don't know. He was very nice before, and then Danny. He just keeps Are going. You sure, he's not concussed. I mean, I. Hey, Danny, you should sit down, all right, bro? Hey, Danny, sit down. Danny Hopper, does go- not turn back. Just continues walking <laughs> into the graveyard. Hopper, go get Danny. Hopper's like. Fuck me. Uh, Hopper uh, kind of goes over to Danny. Uh, can actually move quicker as Danny. Uh, and so you guys see about 50, 60 feet away by the time sort of catching up. Hopper pops in front of Danny and just looks up. And you even see uh, actually... What's your, what is your passive perception, Greg? You don't notice, uh, just, just, for, just for some viewers. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Hopper over there kind of kind of gives gives Danny this look of like oh come on I I don't know man I don't know I don't I don't know why I'm here either um but uh just kind of stands there and kind of nudges Danny keeps walking and you see that Danny kind of clears into this majestic looking lich yard as the light shines down on him the full moonlight um He's about 60, now 70 feet away. Hopper's kind of looking back, but continuing on after Danny, just trying to, you know, get him to go. But now Danny has entered the lich yard as he's just ringed in the full moonlight. He's brightly lit. The rest of you are are bright, but it's kind of almost on the edge of dim. I'm going to wheel towards him. Okay. Danny, come come back. I'll follow my bra, Greg. It's my, it's my dare, Danny. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just, just stop. Mm. See, what do you? Do you wanna? Yeah. It's whatever. Does Danny stop at all? Danny waits for you. Yes, if you're saying you're coming. I'll get to the entrance of the. Uh, and you're cemetery. And you're kind of you know I mean it's 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 you're out here in the you know you can you can go across the grass once you're kind of getting there it's it becomes a little hillier and it's kind of harder for you to maneuver just slightly. Um, but yeah, you get to the entrance. Hopper's kind of standing, Danny's about five feet ahead, and Danny's just looking around very carefully. I don't think it's here. Never mind. Hmm. I don't think it's here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I totally would have done it, Danny. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's probably better that we don't. But uh, that's, you know, but I would have done it. I, I totally would have done it. Um, Greg looks at everybody. All right, Greg, dude, I don't know what's going on with your friend. He doesn't have a concussion. I think he's got some sort of hypoxia issue from being under the water. And we should probably get him to a hospital. The dead. The dead. Okay. The dead. The dead. The dead are here. It's a cemetery, dude. <sighs> Where are the crypts? Bra, like, look, no, look no, ra- the like. crypts. They were crypts. Um, any of you, uh, is anybody here proficient in history? No. no. Um, is anybody here proficient in, it would really just be that, uh, would anybody like to make a history check? I'm pretty good at history. Go for it, Greg. I can grab a motorcycle. Sure. 20. With a 20, um, you know, you start thinking about all of the different graveyards here. Um, there are two that have a lot of crypts, kind of like larger, sort of like over overground spaces. Um, one is the Grand Necropolis of Paradise that is a very weird historical curiosity. Um, it's where, like, it's like very old, kind of older than you'd think a town like this would be around. As you think about it, you think like there's a couple kings buried there or something? That... You're not really sure. You're sure you're crossing your wire somewhere. But that one definitely has crypts. The other one that has crypts is called the Cemetery Hermetic. And you especially would probably be a little bit familiar with this because that cemetery is where esoterics, occultists, forward thinkers are all buried. People in town who sort of walked the left-hand path 
people who the do customers. <laughs> people who do magic. Um, so those well, are the two crypts that you can think of. Danny, maybe we should call um, your master. I bet Master Mark knows where some are. I bet he. Why don't we? Why don't we meet him at the hospital, and then he can probably tell us where to go. I have no master. I have no what? master. Sensei, Sensei Mark. Sorry. I'm gonna go home. No, dude. I think you Why? need to go to a hospital. Mm. I'm gonna go home now. No, I, I bro, you, you, I think that you're acting real fishy. Okay. I think the full moon's getting to him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the lack of oxygen to his brain and the water. Is Suddenly, here. you see the skin kind of <laughs> rumpling and kind of this blue, pale color <laughs> sinking nope. out puffing up um, some sort of transformation, some brief kind of illusory sort of altered shape is, is giving way. And suddenly before you is this just like half bloated and rotted and completely saturated form. These just hair that looks like seaweed hanging down from this face and and this just this body these claws and these sharp teeth something completely inhuman and, and out of a nightmare and Ugh. and this creature is standing here like and 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 Danny's the clothing that was put on kind of backwards pants and things these are all sort of uh the pants are actually probably falling off as this is this sort of form is a little more slender than he was and just wiry and just looking at all of you um we need to roll initiative my friends oh, great great nope nope like the shit uh not 13 philip 13 ooh love them natural 13s all right. What does it mean? Um, I'll phrase it like this. Let's see what happens once we've rolled 13 of them. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Great. All right. Um, so uh, yeah, that, that gets you to a 13, correct? It does, yes. All right. 13 for Alice. Uh, is anybody over 20? Uh, okay, anybody over 15? 19 again. 19. Nice. I don't know how that happened. But it uh, is anybody over... F oh. uh, yeah, anybody over 10? 12. 12. 11. 11. 12, 11. Great. Um, so that is 12 for Trent and 11 for old... For, for good old Zeke. All right. Uh, Greg, you're... not having this shit. Greg, you're up first as this creature. Um, is, <clears throat> now, the first thing does that happens... Look anything, does it look anything like this? Uh, <laughs> no, but upsetting in its own way. There's so very many ways for things to be upsetting, and I like that about life. Um, the first thing that needs to happen as you are beginning your turn looking at this thing's true form, please make a wisdom saving throw. <gasps> oh, no. Ten. Ten. You are frightened yeah. of this thing. Mechanically frightened. Now, um... Oh, none of you will be able to do it on this turn. On subsequent times, you could probably try to avert your eyes to gain advantage against seeing this, but for now, you are simply afraid of this creature. Danny? Danny? <laughs> I, I slowly start wheeling backwards, and just like, Danny, is that you? Danny? Don't... Danny, it's... It's it's your... It's me, Greg. I'm, it's your friend. I I know where some... Where some crypts are. Danny? That's my turn. All right. Well, this is going to be grim because the this creature gets to go now. And you are frightened of it, and so it can tell. And it just glares at you. Could you please make a wisdom saving throw? These eyes, these bulbous eyes just... All of us? No, just that. four. You drop to zero hit points, Greg. <gasps> oh, shit. You pass out, falling out of your chair 
onto the mm. ground. Greg, you st- see that Greg is still conscious, but is basically in oh, total fuck. shock. Like, Greg is, like, dying. As of the beginning of Greg's next turn. Um, and this... This... <sighs> It is now sort of turning back to all of you. That is its turn. Alice, can you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Oh, no. Alice, uh, yeah, make a wisdom save. We're all going to die. <laughs> Can happen. Many, many times over. 21. 21. You oh, damn. are not afraid. Maybe it's the power of love that's keeping you safe, but you are not frightened of this thing. You've drawn worse in your notebook. What are you going to do? True. Um. Uh, I'm gonna growl at it and do my slingshot. Go for it. Take your shot. You've already dealt it three points of damage. Oh! Uh! <laughs> Good noise. <laughs> That one. Oh, Ooh. no. Your slingshot goes... I need a new... I've rolled, like, three that ones. <laughs> sailing wide. All right. Um, that's Alice's turn. Uh, Trant. Oh, no, little buddy. No. Um, My lifeguard training kicks in. And I'm going to try to, like, do this where, like, nobody is really seeing me because i don't I'm, I'm oh i'm so sorry the first thing that happens actually is you do have to make a wisdom saving throw oh yeah this is narnar Ooh. um all right wisdom 13 you're not dirty. Af- you're not afraid all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to do this on the dl like i'm gonna cast some good berries okay and um, I'm going to try. Well, I guess. I mean, can I feed it to him after I cast it or no? Yeah, I think you can give a good berry. I- I'm going to like pop a little good berry in my little bro's, my little bro's mouth there. Okay. Because I don't want this, my buddy dying. So you have, you've cast this, you've cast this spell kind of secretly. Yeah. This, this sort of weird, wicked nature stuff you do. And you yeah, feed him yeah, this berry yeah. and you see the, the sort of like near death state end. You have one hit point, Greg. What happened? Why? Right. What? And Trent, are you using any more movement or anything? You've kind of done that. You can just like kind of be pulling. No, I'm going to, I'm going to back, I mean, I'm going to back up so that I'm like, I still within like 30 feet of this, this, this gnarly dude. Cool. Uh, bonus action. I would like, I mean, if it's all right, sure. you tell me bonus action. I'm going to take out my lacrosse Now, stick. do you have your lacrosse stick on prom night, do you think? No, man, no. Why would I do... Well, wonder if I'm... I mean, am I coming from, like, the swim plaques? Well, were you at prom? I don't think so, man. I mean, was I? I think... Yeah, I probably was. It's... I probably was. Fair enough. Okay, it's, so you... I mean, it's, it's a bit... I mean, yeah, okay. It's a big night. Yeah, no. No, 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 that's all right. That's all right. Oh, but are there any, like, sticks or things on the ground? Like, Ooh, stuff uh, on the ground? I'll tell you what. You can, um, why, why don't, uh, I'll let you kind of as, uh, you probably won't have time to have done all of that and bonus action, but go yeah, ahead and yeah. just make, like, a, make just, like, a perception check, just looking around for, like, a, you know, a brush. Oh, that's a natural one, bro. Cool. You glance around, and you're like, oh, cool, a stick, and you literally grab a shadow. And your hands come up. And oh, like, God. oh no! I hope no one saw that. It was super embarrassing. Yeah. No one's looking at you. In fairness, so you got away with it. Zeke, it is your turn. Could you please make a wisdom? I saw it, but I don't care. Could you make a wisdom saving throw, Zeke? All right. Uh, what is my bonus? I closed my thing. Seventeen. Seventeen. You are not afraid. All right. Uh, I'm not afraid because I think I can outrun the dang thing. <laughs> you definitely think you could. He's standing here just screaming at everyone. He fell over the, the, they're there. What do you want to do? 
Ah, uh, <laughs> shit. Fuck. What? Does, does Alice have any, like, flammable art supplies on her? Anything. Um, she? You would probably suspect that Alice would have something flammable. Somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Whether or not you can, whether or not you can get it out and yeah, you know, get to it and such, yeah. Uh, I have spray paint and acrylic paint. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, <laughs> I've got acrylic paint. Well, that doesn't really help us. No, it could for other things. Uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, um. You know, Greg's cast fire already. Yeah. yeah, but he probably just thinks that. you're a, just a really good stage magician. True. So probably he probably thinks you probably think Greg has some, you know, isopropyl alcohol in a little <sighs> thing up a sleeve. You know, guys, I think maybe maybe I'm gonna have to. I don't like the cops, but maybe someone should go get some help. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. And then you, run. and then you dash sixty feet away. <laughs> Good yeah. call. Excellent. Zeke, Zeke might make it a couple episodes in this game. Cool. All right. Um, top of the round, Greg. So Zeke is bolted. Greg, you are up. Is Trant near me? Trant backed away from you, looking for a stick. So I'm just prone on the ground, out of my wheelchair. Yeah. Oh no, little buddy. <laughs> Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> you threw the meat for the uh, Dobrins. No. Come get. I get it. Uh, did you gotta be you... near your 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 chair though, bro? Right? Is is Danny walking towards me? Is he oh. moving at all? This is interesting. You were already unconscious, so you have to do this again. You have to make the saving throw again. Sorry. Oh, fuck. Uh, wisdom save. It, it's it's a rare. You usually don't have to do it. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. You are you're 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 too scared to be scared. So yes, you're on the ground. Trent has walked about fifteen feet behind you, looking around for whatever. Zeke has bolted. Alice has just sort of Alice just tried to shoot this thing with a slingshot and that didn't work out. Uh what would you like to do? Danny, why? My first friend. Yeah. Uh, where's Hopper? Uh, I think. Were you? No, you were already. Uh, Hopper's next to you. Oh, Hopper's still up. Hopper's still up. They don't disappear when you're at zero. Yeah, you're good. Hopper's there. But, he, but he's next to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I would like to tell Hopper to run in a different direction. And then, oh, it has to be a touch spell. I can cast through him, right? Unfortunately, yeah. yes. Okay, cool. Well, then I'm just going to, I'm going to tell Hopper to run uh, after uh, Zeke, okay. just, to, just to get away. Totally. Am I getting a bunny? Save yourself, Hopper. Okay. And then Same. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast a firebolt at Danny. With, Great. With te tears coming down his eyes, like, my Go only friend. Go for it. A sixteen. A sixteen will hit. Two points of damage. Hmm. Oh wait, it's a it's a D ten, isn't it? It is a D ten. Oh, 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 that's a different die. Two points of damage. <laughs> Perfect. Two points of damage. Perfect. Uh, all right. Wow. Uh, eesh. Uh, Hopper is chasing after Zeke. Um, this creature, having been hit with the flame by you, but seeing you prone on the ground. Oof, I'm not happy about this. Uh, can I, can I crawl back as much as possible? You can. Uh, <laughs> but this thing. I mean, it probably takes like half your movement to even get a thing, but this, this thing, regardless of whether or not you're up or down, it catches up with you and just kind of like staring still directly at 
um, actually probably making eye contact with with uh, with Alice who shot it. It is going to just like lean down and just sink, try to sink its teeth right into Greg's throat. Oh God! And he don't. That is a twenty to hit. <laughs> Battle hits. So the question is, how many hit points do you have? What's your max? Eight. So if I do nine here, you're dead. Yes. Oh, I feel bad about this because I really like Greg, you guys. He's my favorite <laughs> character, but I said Greg nope. is adorable. Poor Greg. Okay. Oh no. I rolled a four and a one, which is five. Plus three is eight. Ha <laughs> ha! So, so you are down under it, but you are at zero and you're like, and you're, uh, and like, you know, you see his eyes just again, horrified as whatever, whatever incredible stage magic he did to shoot that. I mean, Zeke, you looked over your shoulder, you saw this burst of flame, but this thing's just <sighs> sinking down and just kind of staring at you. Um, Alice, it is now your turn, Alice. Danny. I have respect for Greg, but I ain't dying for him. Oh, God. (laughs) Shut up. Yo. I have a terrible question. (laughs) Please. Uh Are there, is there any reason to believe that Greg could possibly be Alice's lover. Oh, no. No! Alice, you... Oh, no. You you came to some conclusions. I would like for you, Alice, to roll a insight check. Okay. How fitting that we're at this cemetery of the lovers. The lovers' lich yard. Uh, that'll be a 22. Oh, no. You, it definitely crossed your mind. You were like, maybe, maybe he's do he's he's doing this in the moon like this is cool, but no, he doesn't talk like that. And also, he kept leaving things on your windowsill, and you don't know how he would have got up there. And and oh, no. and and here's here's like the dark truth of it. And you're, you're, it's, it, you even like, you're almost like, it's nice that I'm so open minded for this, but you've been picturing someone in your head and that's not really it, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, he was cool, but, um, where's the bunny? 60 feet that way. <laughs> uh, he's mine now. Like, oh, he's gone. He's like safe. Greg sent the bunny running and Zeke has run as well. Okay. Um, uh, oh my gosh. This is interesting. <laughs> people make some decisions in this game that you don't make in like a full campaign. Because you're like, people die, so maybe we may, this... <sighs> Also, yeah. what, what? We save this guy, then what? He's got, he's got zero hit points. You don't regain him for a week. This person's, like, in the hospital. Like, I... Ooh. Well, I mean, who's strong enough to carry the dude? Because... Uh, in, in Alice's defense, she had a full-on rescue plan. But she's gonna if, run away. If only... <laughs> if only... Alice, if only you'd rolled worse on that insight check, then... If, if only you had rolled worse on that insight check, then I, I really do think that you might have thought it was him. And that would have been so interesting. But you can it feel... <laughs> honestly, there's something about you standing here in the moonlight, under the light of the full moon, and you can tell you're like, this dress looks so good on me right now. And you can tell that, and then you're like... Do I feel him watching me? You don't. Mm-hmm, damn it. But you feel watched nonetheless. <laughs> And so as you turn, looking sort of beautiful in your mind, and hopefully in the mind of whoever this is, you just, you're like, I, I hope whoever it is is seeing me. And then you hike up the massive hoop skirt and you begin running after Zeke and a little bunny of hell named Hopper. 
That is oh. Alice's turn. Trent, you are up. Uh, it's Trant. Trant, so, so sorry. All right. Um, so um, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use my action to dash and um, I'm going to go and shove this big blubbery dude out of the way. I'm going to, I'm going to use my charger feet per perfect, and yeah. push this, push this guy 10 feet if I can. So you are, you are using your action to dash and then you're using yeah. your bonus action to make your shove. Oh yeah. So go ahead and do the, uh, what do I do for a shove? Uh, it is, is it a... athletics or is it an attack? Uh, let's look it up just so that, just so that we've got we've we're I want to when I murder everyone I want to make sure we're dotting all the eyes, crossing all <laughs> the teeth. Why am I? I was I feel like I'm uh, uh, good berry. So be strong. <laughs> you will make a strength athletics check contested by its choice of athletics or acrobatics. Perfect. All right, here we go. Oh no! All right, here we go. Come on. Nine. Okay. It's possible I'll miss this. That's actually more heartbreaking. I roll a seven on the die and it has a plus three, so it's a ten. So it just keeps its body. So as you've kind of you do your you you rush it and you use your bonus action to to try to push it and it doesn't move and now you're standing there right next to it. You still have All your right. movement. Well, I'm gonna pick up my buddy and take the opportunity attack and go. So you, like, you, you grab and you'll be true. and carry, just like just like they taught us in lifeguard training. So you're you're moving basically you're moving half speed at this. So you try to go fifteen feet away. It will it will take an attack on you. I'm sure it will. Oh fuck. Natural twenty? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Lesson of the game. Don't help anyone. <laughs> Every man and bunny for itself. <laughs> Help no one, trust no one. So all those like great rolls I made, those 18s, those 19s. You're both losing an 18, a character with an 18. They both rolled on like 3d6. Rolled 18s. Oh my gosh. Doesn't matter when in the game, like I said, doesn't matter. Roll when you're rolling um, a five. <laughs> well, this is... My it is classic time. horror trope. Right? I am using I'm using this beautiful dark green dye of the I've, sea, I don't, I, and it's is, just no, appropriate. Sad. And uh, it is. Oh, uh, I, I don't believe you are actually technically uh, dead outright yet. It is. It is 17 points of damage. Yeah, I'm. I'm out. So you're out, but uh, that doesn't kill you outright. That's not double nope. your HP, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so you'll, there'll still be some saves here, uh, but that is. I mean, that will is, there? Death saves, yeah. So you're you're alive. You Is feel it like around? you basically you feel like the claws sink in, and you feel it like like in your spinal cord as you just yep. uh, like your whole body falls. Uh, Greg, make a, a death saving throw. Uh, two. It's a fail. Okay. Shit. Um, on its turn, it is going to bite into you first. Oh my. God. And that's two more. That's two. Uh, melee auto crit. Uh, it hits so with a seventeen. So oh as you're kind of falling there, you then the last thing you see is just this cold, and the last thing you think is Danny. Why, Danny? As the jaws sort of sink into your throat, and as you're kind of there, like turning on the ground, uh, Trant, you sort of look over and see Greg's throat just in the mouth of this creature that kind of. <sighs> I just wanted to find. Yeah, fuck it. Um, Trant, would you make a death save? Ten. Ten. You have succeeded. One success. And now two failures as it bites into you. <laughs> but it's like, it's it's taking its time with you. It's kind of like... Mm. At the end of its turn, having bit you, though, it kind of is looking down at you. And it sees the berries that you're holding in your hand. Picks one up. Regains a hit point. Uh, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this thing. 
This thing is over you. It has like bit into you. It's like it has like your healing stuff. Uh, you can take no action, but you do get to make one more death saving throw. Here at the top of your last turn, or maybe not. Oh, Trant. Sixteen. Sixteen. So two succeeds, two two fails, two successes. It is now going to bite in you. One more time, it has advantage on the roll. Uh, is your uh, 15? Will that hit? Yeah. 15 hits in it. It kind of, the last thing you see is it just <clears throat> bites into you. Who? Well, um. That was exciting. Your bodies lie there for a time. Meanwhile, as the as the as the as as Zeke and Alice are sprinting with Hopper next to them, you see Hopper kind of like <sighs> continues running, um, as if knowing that something has happened. Uh, I assume that the two of you are just running, 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 um, and. At this time, you see the dark beginning to sort of retake that graveyard. The moon is hidden once again, as if ashamed to look on a world of such horrors. Um, what do the two of you do this night, now that you've kind of made it away back to your vehicles, if you have them, or, or your part of town? You've seen... You've seen someone go into the water and come out acting strange, then transform into a monster and presumably rip apart your two friends. You certainly don't see them emerging from that graveyard. Is this feminism? <laughs> like, the dudes all died. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... Um, <laughs> um, um, what do we do now? I, that, I must have like inhaled some fumes or something. That can't be what actually happened. No, it happened. Mm hmm. I think, I think it's the full moon. Okay, but like, uh, that was not human. Do you see any Are moon? you sure? We didn't like somehow accidentally. Maybe they added some, something into the punch that oh. wasn't just booze. I didn't drink any of the punch though, so that would not explain. Maybe they spiked that punch I didn't drink. Oh my gosh. Um, as the two of you kind of attempt to collect your thoughts, you notice Hopper the rabbit is like pacing in a circle, making certain considerations. It sort of stares back behind for a moment. There's something very odd about this rabbit now that you're watching it. It seems to be moving kind of... There seems a lot of intention between its beady little eyes. Uh, could I insight check the rabbit? Go ahead. Oh, dang it. We something in the lab. This is not... This is not happening. Uh, 12. I, you, you're probably just... It's probably just kind of a weird night. It's probably just... Mm, yeah. <laughs> this is... The rabbit's behavior is by far not the strangest thing you've seen tonight, so... Just chalk that one up to... Who knows? Can I pick up the bunny? You can. It will... It doesn't... It doesn't run. It kind of... Looks at you for a moment. And then... Big eyes and looks just like a normal rabbit again. Okay. Its ears were sort of slicked back and now they're up again. That kind of thing. I 
guess. Like, do we go? Oh, fuck, I hate the cops. No. <sighs> That's a bad idea. I mean, someone's gotta come get these bodies. Uh, I mean, they're probably gonna turn into that thing again. Okay, we don't even know what that thing was. We're tripping on something. I, mean, I don't know what to tell you, but that is not, that is not, that is not, there's, that's, that defies taxonomy. It's, well, <laughs> it is, it's a full moon. Um, It's a full moon, so I mean, it could be a werewolf, a weird looking werewolf, but a werewolf. A, a werewolf from a lake? Even if werewolves were real, a werewolf from a lake, it's creature of the back black lagoon kind of shit. There's different breeds. I've never heard of an aquatic wolf. There's a, wherever kind of, we'll say you're sort of like in the woods near the road, there's a, uh, you're sort of startled as a rumble of an engine. Headlights flash. A car passes, some of your classmates whooping and hollering, enjoying their prom night revelry as they okay. drive past. Should we, like, ask the popular kids what they know? This is, there was some prank. It was a prank. It was some stupid prank that went very wrong. <laughs> Their issue. I'm not responsible for it. I might keep this bunny. I don't know. But... <laughs> Clearly, this was them. They're, they're they're enjoying themselves. They did something stupid, and they ended up getting these kids hurt. Irresponsible as crap. They probably had someone in a costume. Oh, this is dumb. That wasn't a costume. Well, it wasn't a werewolf. We we should we should find my lover. He he knows. Things they know things. Whoever it is, they know things. And and we have to stay away from mirrors. But okay. but don't break them because apparently that's bad too. Good night, Alice. I'm gonna go home. As... I'm gonna go home. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go home. This is this is too much. This is this is <sighs> We can't leave each other. We can't, we can't leave each other. This is like, that's bad. We can't leave each other. Sorry, I, I, I bite my nails when I get nervous. Yeah, all right. Do you have a ride? I'll take you home. I, I can, I have my motorcycle. <laughs> that's awesome. She rode a motorcycle <laughs> in a formal ball gown. I mean, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then, I, I think we should go home and let the... Whoever was responsible for this prank just clean up their own mess. Okay. 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 We aren't going to talk like... about this. Okay. Okay. All right. With that, Zeke and Alice return to their homes. Zeke, wondering how what you've seen is possible, and Alice, upon making it up to your bedroom, discovering a note sitting on your windowsill. I, I read it. You open it with hands presumably trembling, written inside in that strange angular hand. You, underlined, were never in any danger, my special one. And you looked lovelier than I'd imagined.
And that is where we will end chapter one of Blood from a Stone. Three dead, actually a bit lower than I thought. You guys, you guys could have gone to some much more dangerous scenarios there, so well done. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Brutal. I just got a text. I hope Zeke no spine dies. <laughs> oh, no. Well, this is about self-preservation, people. Look, I I mentioned when we were building people's characters to this game that surviving in this and making possibly making it to becoming like a a level one character often involves running. Am I personally sad about some of the people we lost tonight? Yes, I am. But I'm going to have to honor the dice. And I... Those nat 20s, y'all. Oof. That was rough. That was so Scram. rough. So rough. Uh, Wait, so where's Hopper? Hopper's with you. Okay. All right. Hopper's still in existence? <laughs> Apparently. So, familiars. There can be some... They're not like a normal spell. You've summoned a thing. I Rules as written, they very well may disappear immediately, but I, I treat them a little different than like a conjured thing. I mean, you could have your familiar for years. They sort of, they're not as tied. They also cost money to create, so I tend to occasionally, I mean, it's got one hit point. It's it's not, you know, but it's a, it's a rabbit. If it can survive as a rabbit, then good on it. Oh man. Um well, everyone, that was fun. I hope that that nice. lived up to your expectations. Uh I'm I feel like at my at my sort of meeting of a of a sociopath uh DMs uh or my sadist anonymous meeting. Uh there's going to be people are going to give me a hard time for only killing 3. Um but I did double kill Andrew. Game. So I both apologize for that. Uh, You're a feminist. We've established this. I I mean I am, but it's 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 easy to not kill the girls when they're the only ones who run away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. Fair. Uh. Yeah. It's easier when you you don't get knocked out of your chair to run away. I feel like. Ooh, that was rough. That was so rough. Well, it it it's it it scared you to death. Is really what happened. That was a you, you it failed. Scared me to you death. failed two well, and wisdoms, the, and it just oof. And yeah. scared so you to death, dead. and then bit you in the neck. <laughs> but the coolest thing is, it regained. Like the worst time to have a high initiative was that one turn. Oh man! It, 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 yes, yes, it, it went you and it. I was like, I was like, if it were lower, then a bunch of you, maybe more than one of you, would have been a target. Um, but the cool thing is, you did actually uh, your 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 valiant sacrifice. Uh, it is now fully healed, thanks to all those good berries it ate. Right. <laughs> all right. So Great. wonderful. Well, guys, what a fun first session! Thank you all so much for uh, for watching us uh, play. We will be here, um, I think, most Fridays, if not every Friday. Uh, as you saw in this game, however, uh, there's often going to be occasion for people to maybe not, uh, you know, make it every time. So, though all these people have multiple characters they can play, we might have different, uh, uh, you know players in and out, uh, kind of a slightly more rotating cast than, than typically is done in a, in a game like this. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so please, uh, yeah, check out our, our Discord and our Instagram. Yep. Uh, and, uh, and all that fun stuff and follow us. And uh, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. door a taxi's on its way there's nothing left to say i'll give you back the ring don't look at me like that you had to know it ends like this couldn't you feel it in my kiss i'm not happy
Happily ever after down the line I feel like we've been running through somebody else's dreams it isn't what it seems I can't keep up this game you're looking for someone to rule a kingdom by your side but I'm nobody's bride you need to know gonna change Castle down the line